What's up, guys? Welcome back to the eSport uh, ESL Weekly Cup number 11. Wow, the eSports. Welcome back to them. Um, we're back with the uh, with round two, and we've got um, we've got VOTF going up against uh, against 55 HP Monks, which is this is gonna be a pretty sick match um, going up. But before we start this match, I did promise you guys some gems, so we're gonna do some gem giveaways in chat. Go ahead and um, and just. Spam. Just spam gems. Well, let me set it up. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't know we were doing a gem giveaway. Dude, I told you we were giving away gems. We were giving away gems. <laughs> My bad. Pay attention, man. Yeah, how do I clear this? Alright, so guys, um... Again, this matchup coming up is is uh, round two. I think it's um, the semifinals. The pretty much almost every team got a buy except for War Bears and Team Mister to figure out who was going into the semifinals now. And this is the upper bracket. Uh, the brackets. If you type in exclamation point brackets, you should go ahead and you should be able to um, to grab that as well. And uh, just for for good measure, I'm going to enter this gem competition as well, so we can uh, up the risk to blue. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. We are at the moment as well, waiting for the last member of Revenge of the Fallen to join up. Yep. And we're gonna in. We'll go over the builds and stuff. Yeah, but uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Revenge, uh, Revenge of the Fallen, they've got Tage, Hand Scout, Super, and uh, Left Hand Cut is one of their Necro that I'm seeing right now. And I'm gonna be able to see um, sort of what uh, what they're up to. Let me see who that is. That's like someone that's running a different name. You know, like... That's Posey. It's Posey? Yeah, left hand cut as Posey. Oh, well, sick. That's Posey. So, even sicker lineup than I thought. Um, let's see. Do you have enough entrance, entrance to, to choose the winner? Oh, uh, 98. Two more. Two more guys. Come on. Two, two more of you guys. We'll do, can... we'll do it at 100 or more. There we go, got 100. All right, guys, All right, again, hold on, before we do it, though, keep in mind, guys, you must be following the channel. I think I said that once already, though, so we should be good to go here. All right, here we go, rolling the dice in three, two, one. Congratulations to uh, Grief, I think it says Griffinix, or like Grief NX, something like that. Uh, but congratulations to you, Grief NX, or Griefenix, as I believe how we pronounce that. Uh, it is spelled G-R-I-F-E-N-X, G is capitalized, and nothing else is. So Grief NX, or Griefnix, apologies if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, go ahead and send me a private message here on Twitch, and I'll respond to you with your gem code. And congratulations to you. Uh, we see uh, Helsith is in is in spectators right now. Is I wonder he? if he's actually playing. Is he playing? Okay, hold on. Make sure something here. Yeah. Shout out to Helseth for being a total freaking baller. Um. <laughs> it, all right, guys. I think it's time to jump in. I think it's time to go into the actual game now. As we uh, we go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. And let me just get it up so I can see what's going on. Yep, everything seems to be to be working here. Um, but yeah, it's time to uh, to jump into this game here. Uh, Blue, do you want to go over builds? Uh, yeah, let's do it real quickly. Uh, and I think you think. Okay, yeah, I think I think Helsinki is actually playing with them. Oh, so. this is gonna be great. Uh, if, if if he's actually, this is gonna be the, one of the sickest lineups. <laughs> so this is a somewhat of a hybrid lineup between Denial and Car Crash. They are running under VOTF's tag though. Then the Fallen, for those of you who know, is a rather popular GBG in World Be World Guild. Uh, so let's check out their builds here real quick. Tage gonna be running at what appears to be a pretty typical Guardian Bucket build. Six runs of the Soldier, Staff, Mace Focus with the Cleric Summit and the Traits being 0-5 through 35. Again, a lot of support, a lot of tank ability. 
taking up a lot of damage and is going to keep those points contested. Can Scout running a pretty typical Spirit Ranger build, six runes of Grenth, as well as Sword Torch with Axe, Dagger, Settler's Ammon, and the traits being 10 0, 33 0, running Triple Spirits and the Ultimate Spirit. Super on his Warrior, I believe, is going to be running Hambo. Yes, he yep. is running Hambo with Zerker's Amulet, so a lot more damage will be coming out into play there. Running with six runes of Lissa as well as, again, Hambo, Hambo weapons, and 0 0 of 30 10 30. Pretty typical stuff coming out there. Posey going to be running on his Necromancer here with six runes of the Nightmare as well as Scepter Forehorn, Staff, Carrot Rapid Amulet, and the traits being 30 30 0, 0 10. And he'll probably swap that Warhorn out to a dagger once the game begins. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, Lord Hellseth playing with six runes of Lissa as well as Staff, Great Sword, Berserker's Amulet, and the traits being 30 20 0, 0 20. Switching now over to the blue team. Let's check out their builds here really quick. Over 55 HP Monks. Uh, Almeri, let's see what he's running here on the Warrior. Is going to be running the Hambo build as well, but is running it with a Soldier's Amulet, making him a little bit more tanky, but at the same time, will still deal a pretty decent amount of damage. Six runes of Lissa as well, again with the Hambo weapons. 0 0 30 10 30. Same exact split as Super. Mr. Milo on his Guardian. Going to be running with six runes of the Soldier as well as the Staff, Mace, Focus, Cleric's Amulet, and the traits being 0 5. 3035 running basically a mirrored build again that um that Tage is running. Misha Tin Hat on Mesmer here running with six runes of Lissa as well as Greatsword, a staff, Berserker's Amulet, and the traits being 2020-0030. Shad playing Thief for this team, gonna be running with six runes of the Scholar as well as Shortbow, Dagger Pistol with a Berserker's Amulet, and the traits being 1030-0030. And then last but not least. Polyphy on a Squire's character at the moment here, running with six runes of Lissa. Also, a double Hambo, actually, uh, running as well with Hambo, but again, is running the tankier variant. Well, not really the variant, but just running it with Soldier's Amulet to make himself that much tankier. Same trait split, 0 0 30 10 30. Oh man, this is going to be a ridiculous, ridiculous game coming up. Um, first of all, double Hambo. Not sure if. Uh, it, it'll be effective, but I don't like it. <laughs> like, I'll just I'll just say that. Um, yeah, I mean, it works. It works. Um, it works. It's it's pretty much all there is to say about it. Yeah. Um, a lot of CC, a lot of AOE that can come out into play because of that. Um, and it's definitely going to be something that red team will have to deal with. But I think just based on who is on the red team, they can easily overcome that. Absolutely. I mean, if there's anyone who knows how to, to deal with it, it's these guys. These these guys. Um, though, if Hellseth were here casting, he'd be he'd be given. Uh, give him he, the he'd be rather, he'd be rather, he'd be rather perturbed. Yeah, but if I'm using that, if I think I'm using the right word for that, um, about that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we're just waiting on. Shad and uh, actually, Helseth has dropped. Uh, uh, what is going on here? <laughs> What's with the disconnects today? Uh, no, he's probably switching something. Uh, you know, he just DC. He uh, DC, yeah. What is this? What it's is always this on, it's always on the red team too, isn't it? It's always the person who's like. It's it's always yeah. been the fifth member the of, fifth the of the red team. The red. It's the oh second time that's happened. <laughs> this is really upsetting, actually. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so he, he has five he, he, minutes from this moment to, to a, get back it's in. It's a bad day for the internet in Europe right now. <laughs> is there, like, some sort of, like... There's got to be some sort of, like, I don't know, weather storm or just, like, the internet is sick. I don't... The, the internet is sick? So the internet itself is, this, is, is just this, like, it's got was, the was, flu, it's dying. Wasn't there, like wasn't there a IV South Park trip. episode about that once? I have no idea. I think there was. The The internet got shut down. And the router broke, and uh, I forget, someone had to go fix it. But the scientists couldn't figure it out. But uh, one of the one of the South Park kids figured it out, and he just had to turn it off and on again. And it fixed the internet. Spoiler alert. Oh, there he is. Okay. Now we're just waiting on chat. And here we go. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. Popping up the uh, the map screen to see what sort of splits are going to come up as soon as they all pop back into their bases here. Um, I'd be interested to see beach play. That's something that Helsa takes out um, a lot, but it's just going to be Shad going to the beach right now. Oh, no, I'm, I lied. We're going to see. There's the beach. Points. Yep. Seize There's Helsa's beach play. He's going to cross now. over. Shad's going to see him. Page. Uh, Shad's gonna go ahead and train him down, and that's exactly what a thief should do on, on a Mesmer of that caliber right there. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and run straight through to Henge right now. He's stealthed up, so he's gonna be have to, um, obviously de-stealth before he can get on that cap, but Shad is on his tail. Looks like, us uh, uh, Polyphy has, um, a way to deal with him. House is gonna go ahead and warp, uh, immediately to the fringes of Henge. Let me check out mid here. Tage and Milo are going at it while we do have a fight going on behind that. Super going up against Misha, and I 
think as uh, we have Eldamiri opposite <laughs> on the other side of that little bridge area there, the stairs, he's going up against Posey, so it's a really spread out fight here. Indeed it is, as we can see, a lot of people, and this is some, this is somewhat of a, again, a lot of EU teams do try to do this, they don't necessarily go directly for the team fight, they do try to either split themselves up on the side points, or sort of try to engage off point a little bit, try to kill one or two people, or get them really low, like Super did over here with Misha now, get them low enough to the point where they can easily kill them in the team fight, and then drag them over to the team fight, or even better, knock them out on the roads, and then kill them, and get the Just number like advantage that. in the actual team fight itself. Team a lot of teams do try to do this. Yep, and it's worth noting that blue team has now got uh, both of the side points here. Red has really been focused on mid, and they've left mine open, so they did end up taking that. Um, the, the team fight is actually going in the favor of Red here. They've dropped Milo, um, and Tage's going to go in for the stop, stabilizing through there just fine. Aldemiri now trying to get on point there, along with Shad, and they're going to go in on... Uh, well, Shad's going to go ahead and try and train down Hellsith again, and that's really his, his main goal here in this team fight, is get the squishy people, which means Hellsith right now. Indeed, they're going to be trying to knock out Hellsith, which again will eliminate a lot of the bursts from this team. And as we saw, though, the red team sort of looks like they may be trying to pull out of here fairly soon, although they are still giving it their best bet. Red team, however, again, recapturing their home point, but no other crossplay. So despite the fact they are going down, uh, we may try to see them pull in the next few seconds, but for the time being, they are still fighting here in the middle. Yep, Posey is actually down on the rocks, or just under mid here. Hellsith tried to go in there and try and try to do something there. He popped a portal. I think he's going to try and heal up before going back in. Um, and... Oh, he's actually going to cross over to, to Henge right now, and he's going to be joined by Super, and they're going to do some 2v1 action over here onto Milo. Indeed they are. Now, again, it is good that Milo is here instead of someone else like Squares or one of the other um, Hemo Warriors on the blue team. But again, considering it is, again, with Milo being here, Red Team may have a tough time taking him down. That all depends on how well they're able to CC him and actually burn through his cooldowns as quickly as possible. Yeah, we're so gonna we'll see. Gonna, he's got his hammer out. He's going to start. I mean, just knocking he, him up. They've already gone through. He's already gone through most of his cooldowns. Milo does have his uh, his renewed focus coming up in just a second here, but once that is gone, they should be able to knock him out. Like it's going down right now. Yeah. So let's that, see. Over the next few seconds, Milo should be going down. No blue team reinforcements just yet either. But they did take the the opportunity to actually dig up over at the mine. Too, yeah. And so. now Hellseth will use his portal to go straight back to mid. He's gonna chase down Misha actually. Just gonna get, get some mesmer on mesmer action here. Um, and they're gonna go straight over to mine and try and deal with it. Um, it's 118 to 43. Not a, like we're gonna see that VOTF is having a, a hard time in the, the beginning stages Red of this uh, dealing with sort of um, this the way they need to. But you know that play from Hellseth and Super is exactly what they need to come back. Mm -hmm. And over here, back at the mine, we did see Helseth and Posey going down at the hands of both Shad and Misha. Uh, Misha as well looks like he's going to be taking his way back over here to the middle point to continue that, because that has not actually been capped in anyone's favor, although Red Team is getting fairly close to getting it if they get one or two more ticks off here. Yeah, and that's just all a testament to Tage's staying power. He's like the only one on this point now that has yeah. to deal with three people right now. That's Misha, Aldemiri, and um, of course uh, Milo as well. And now here comes Polyphy. So he's, he's 4v1ing right now. He needs mm -hmm. support from his team. This just to stay alive just, and it, again that does show I, I do want to call this out right now Tage is definitely one of the better bunker guardians in this game and he just showed it right there he was tanking 3v1 even 4v1 there for I believe that was one or th one to two minutes straight and that was amazing well done by Tage there that's something yeah. that's something that doesn't get highlighted too much but we definitely just saw it play there really nice job by Tage absolutely now he's actually they've lost the total uh, capture point um the like capture percentage rather to Aldemir, he did have to sort of play uh, play back, play safe, but I mean, it's worth it if you're going to stay alive. Um, if we jump over to mine real fast, we can see that we do have Posey and Hellsith going up against Milo and Shad, and Shad's about to drop. Um, or, yeah, there it is. He goes down into the downstate now. We will see Stomp trying to go in, but no, he's going to get stealthed out. Uh, no, um, it's actually Posey who's going to go ahead and uh, just try and yeah, DPS him down in the plate form. Milo on point now. Helseth and Posey will be able to deal with him probably. Uh, they will probably make short work of him as soon as his cooldowns go off. And so, yeah, there's won't. renewed focus. And yep. he's, he's about to lose this. And there goes Helseth as well. Back over oh. here at the Henge. We do have that 1v1 still going on. Super's trying his best. He is in the 1v1 up against Misha right now. Uh, Super, generally speaking, is going to have over here at the Henge that is Super generally speaking going to have a lot more actual point control, but when he does get into outnumbered scenarios, he is going to have a tougher time actually trying to control the node fight, but in 1v1, Super should be able to dominate the fight on the point at least. Pretty, pretty, well, pretty one-sided. He's actually a 2v1 right now. Well, yeah. <laughs> with that, that's what I'm saying. With the 2v1, it's going to be a little bit harder, but he should still be able to do it, but again, there was a nice burst that just come, came in there from Shads, and as such, he is going to be getting stopped out now. But look at it. He almost got a cap too. Yep. He actually did have a full cap, um, but now they are going to lose that. 
Yeah, I'm looking at the, the map's a little bit bugged there, unfortunately. Um, but they lost that. We will see Posey taking mine. So no. They will yeah. regain their two cap. But Aldemiri is going to go ahead, and he's going to cross over and try and deal with him as well. We see that Can Scout's bunkering mid here. Uh, he's supported by Taze, and Hell says kind of playing the this space point. between mine and uh, mid here, trying to figure out where he needs Blue to go. And it's exactly where he knows point. now that he needs to descend upon mine. Help out Posey, who's going to be in a little bit of trouble, but now Super's here as well, so it's going to be a 3v2 in the favor of VOTF. And, you know, they've made, they started making their comeback. They're only five points away. Indeed, really nice. They had a bit of a, they had a bit of a questionable opener there, there that uh, VOTF did have, but they've seemed to come back from it fairly well, and they're definitely getting a lot better on these team fights. Now, as we just saw, absolutely wiping out Alberry here over in the middle. They have Tage here now, too, so they are, they are yep. fully committed to this point. Whenever you see the Bunker Guardian go for it, especially over here at a far point node, you know that that team is fully committed to defending and or taking that node. Absolutely, Blue. You know, Milo's still on point, though. Hellseth is, is going to start taking a little bit of damage um, if he gets into the fight here. Actually, he's playing... Wait, hold on, let me just go ahead and jump in on it from Hellset's point of view here. He's actually playing the fringes just fine. Here's got his greatsword out. I'm gonna go ahead and try and drop some damage on Misha as well, taking advantage of the, the squishiness of that player. Super goes in on him as well. But we do see Chief and taken out by Polyphi. Um, and really, the, the main fight is here on mine, but we will see that everyone is crossing over to, to restart the team fight, restart all of this action here. And um, they may actually see Kanska pull off to, to join the fight soon. Uh, my, I don't know if they will, because I don't know if, they, really? it, it generally depends on what the team decides to do. Some teams will be willing to risk an open mid, mid node, other teams won't, other teams will be, we need to make sure we keep someone on this at all times, like, they're keeping the Spirit Ranger there, I uh, believe Spirit, yeah, they're keeping the Spirit yeah. Ranger there, and granted, they are sacrificing a lot of team fight support because of that, but, um, with leaving him there, he himself, uh, pen, depending on how well he's able to manage it, he should be able to tank 1v2 for quite some time. So it's, it is a pretty good option to leave there as, as your sort of, like, temporary bunker on that point. Absolutely, you know, uh, we're going to see Misha getting dropped out. They they do not need him, actually, at this point. The team fight is going mm -hmm. so well in their, in their favor yeah, and that they don't, need, um, they don't need the extra support, which is great for, for Red as they begin to start coming back. But, you know, they're 10 points behind. They need those two kills to get uh, tied up. And they also need this point to to, start, to sort of start recapping in their favor. We do see that um, Square Polyphy is down once again. Aldemiri is about to go down as well. We may see Milo get dropped soon. Everyone's taking a, sh uh, just a ton of damage right now. Um, and there is Super with another stop as well. There's Milo going down once again. We're seeing a wipe from Blue, which is going to force uh, Kanska was just off point for just a second. Point. And that would have been um, not really enough for Misha to do anything, but she does drop the portal on mid. They are going to evacuate. Evacuate um, mine, I think, and go straight to mid. They are held up here. They are pin hold up there a little bit. We do Shad probably going to make his way to mid. Blue team in general, if you open up the map real quick, are looking like they may make their way to mid too. But they could still turn it around too. So if red team does over rotate, it looks like they actually are going to camp around this middle courtyard here at the moment. So that's actually a good spot to hang. Because if blue team does decide to change their priorities and actually go for mine again, they can easily fall back to that node. Yeah, man. And, and you know, here, here's Misha and uh, and now uh, Hellsa, they're going at it. Yep. Um, as well as Milo joining the fight. Um, Misha's just kind of sort of running. He's, he needs to... What he's trying to do is play to portal in a, an area where he can get people onto that point here. Where he can support his teammates as well. And here's Posey coming into the fight. Um, they're reinitiating the mind fight, which... Uh, which yeah, they've been losing. I'm not sure if that's a really great idea. So she does drop the portal between mine and mid, and there it is. They're going straight to mid. They know that that, that mid is the weak point right now, so they they've kind of just played now, that well. Now they 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 sort of counterplayed that too. Helseth again ported his team back over there too. So that was actually really well played by Helseth, getting his team back into there too. So yeah. Ken, they kind of knew that was happening. This is the portal plays are they definitely happen a lot more on Eve. But when you can see them coming, you got to get prepared for that. Because as you saw when they did port in there, a lot of red team members were getting bursted pretty hard. So they had to get back there quickly. If if Helseth ha did not have that portal there ready to go, that might have been a wipe. Absolutely. You know, I think what happened was that Can Scout, when he was on mid, he saw that Misha had dropped the portal right at his feet. So, I mean, if they're on Team Speak, if they're on, like, some sort of voice comms, they can just just tell, you know. Like, they so dropped the portal, portal here, yeah. counter portal. Um, and that's, that was a really great play here. But, you know, uh, we're going to see that um, Can Scout is at the mine point. I thought he was leaving for just a second. He has stomped out Aldemiri. Uh, all of the forest creatures are up. Those are all open options for either's team, but they've decided to go ahead and start the mid fight over again. And it, it's just like, if Tage gets off this point for a second, they will lose that point. Uh, Shad mm -hmm. is about to go ahead and, and drop. He's stealthed up. Super's trying to get some damage in on him. Hellset's trying to do some as well uh, with the illusions here. Milo is trying to it's just, really just trying to stay alive at this point because he needs to keep the pressure on, but I don't think he's going to be very effective in doing so. 
Now we do need to note as well that Blue Team has been doing an excellent job, uh, the 55 HP Mox that is, has been doing an excellent job at actually making sure they do get the bosses. There we go, but they just got another one there. Yep. So with those bosses, assuming they can get the second one, if they can hold a 2 cap for just a bit of time, there's still a pretty strong chance that 55 HP can come back into this and maybe take a comeback. Absolutely. But with Red Team going, they need to do that like now, because if not, then we are going to see BOTF take the first round. Yeah, I'm watching Milo right now, trying to get it on Hellseth. He's been stunned up and Hellseth is going to get away no problem. We will see Shad cycling over to mine to deal with can scout that's going to be uh, a, a really interesting sort of 1v1 as we go into there but, but it will be a 2v1 momentarily as misha is about to join aldamiri gets up in mid as well so that fight continues let's check out in the mind though as he's going to be there's going to be a 2v1 on can scout between shad and misha uh this is good uh we do see that the spirits have sort of activated and died uh right about there let's jump in on can scout's uh point of view here he has the utility for the, the Spirit of Nature Renewal to come out here. He may have to use it. Yep. Oh my god, he gets tripped up right before he can. Spike down immediately. Meech coming in for the stomp, and it won't happen as uh, Red Team wins anyway. Well played again by the OTF, coming back into there again. A little bit of a questionable opener, but they managed to get stuff together there towards the mid game and definitely pull ahead there towards the end, taking a little bit more, thinking about a 110 point lead at the end, making the final score 501 to 391 in favor of the OTF. Yep, totally sick stuff coming out of that side there, and I'm really excited to see uh, to see game two coming up. And again, gotta give for that game at least, gotta give MVP to, to definitely to Tage to that yep. one. Bunkering 3v1, I think at one point it was 4v1 for one or two minutes straight. Really well played there by Tage. Held on to that middle fight, bought him, bought his entire team the time they needed to actually get to that middle fight, come in and then wipe out his opponent. So again, definitely going to give uh, Tage the MVP for that game. Absolutely. Um, going into game two here, what can what can Blue do? To, what can um, 55 HP monks do to sort of counter the pressure that everyone is able to put on here? I mean, it's it's going to be tough, especially in the team fights again. Um, because they are they are gonna have to try and knock out Tage and try to get him down, but again, it is coming down to that. So I think on this map, it may be better to actually try and um, maybe go for side caps on this map. In all honesty, just trying to see again what their actual team compositions are once they join up. Because there's no thieves in play here. That if I could, if I'm remembering correctly, no, I don't think we have any thieves in play. Um, no, but well, Shad was on thief. But he's oh, oh that, that's apologies, yeah. Apologies. Shad changed to Ranger now, though. But without... So I think they are trying to get Shad Ranger. Okay, so they're changing him to Spirit Ranger. So it looks like they actually are trying to go for the... Um, looks like they're trying to go for a stronger team, but then, I guess, I would assume at least, or a stronger back point by trying to get the um, trying to get the Spirit Ranger into play here. Curious to see how it's going to go, though, because I don't... Because someone else might have been switching out, too. Because yeah. they are still missing their, their fifth here. So let's see. Let's get their fifth, and then we can probably talk about that a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I mean... We can also just talk. I mean, Chad is. I mean, we could we could see we could see too if you were looking at the scoreboard at the end of that game yeah. that red team was dominating in those team fights. So if they are changing anything, it's going to be in favor of actually getting a better team fight. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting. So Squares comes back. They are running the double warrior thing again. Yeah, the double warrior thing. Um. I mean, again, they did overcome that too. So maybe maybe that's worth considering a rethink coming into this game. Because right, that did, especially on this map too, because that AOE is, especially on midpoint, is not going to prove to be as powerful because, again, it's that bigger point that you're going to have to deal with. So the Hambo is not going to be as effective. It'll be a, still, it'll be still as effective on the side points, but again, they will have to fight for side points if they do want to choose to go for that strategy. And, and that, might. again, is a lot riskier. To but fight. it's something that's not really out of the ordinary on this map either. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have these guys uh, start to ready up. And uh, we'll get into it as soon as possible, guys. It's welcome to Legacy of the Faux Fire again. Those of you guys just joining us, it's week 11 of the ESL Weekly Cups. And we're, we're here watching some Guild Wars 2. And we're having some, some good times doing some esports stuff. Indeed. Indeed. But yeah, definitely, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, 55 HP Monk's definitely going to have a hard time here in these mid fights, especially coming into play with how we did see things going in the last game. It's all going to come down to how they split if they wanted to go for side points too. Because um, again, I, um, Red Team does have that pretty strong side point presence too. Because they are, they do, they are probably going to move Tage if need be to one of those side points if they need to fight heavily onto that. So we'll have to see how things go if they actually do choose to go for that strategy yep. as well. Check it out, Posey is changing to, back to his original. Oh, he's on Necro now. Yep. Let's get this Wait. over. He was on Necro before. Oh, apologies. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's running a well, different I'm Necro build. To see. If there's he's any difference, power then. Necro. Usually when someone changes, they change class altogether. But right? no, he's not. Those. That's lied. my bad. <laughs> not running power Necro. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, not running that anymore. He is running 3020-0020. 0020. 
uh, with the staff, scepter dagger, rabbit ammo. This is good old Condi Necro. Yeah, this is pretty much team fight Condi, pretty standard here. Uh, Doom fire. Yeah. Yeah, Doom fire. Good times. <laughs> good times indeed. Good times were. Uh, remember back, I don't know, like a month ago, two months ago, when every team had a Necro that was just this. Just this. Yeah. Yep. And then every team suddenly had warriors that was just eating all those condies. Mm -hmm. And then now we're here. And I'm actually, that's actually was an interesting move though from Posse that he's still on the condi build. Yeah, um, I mean, it's in, uh, when you pull out some like old be, meta stuff, like I sometimes mean, well, they don't expect it. Not just that, but considering they have two warriors, both of them running Berserker stance. Let me see if they're running the one that increases stance duration too. Any of them running that? Uh, I don't think so, but still. Um, eight seconds on both of them of Condi immunity. That's I don't know how well it's going to fare in a team fight, but again, we'll have to see how things fare out. Yep. Waiting on Super now to, to R up. There we go. The so the match is about to start. Soon. I want to see what Posey will pull out of his uh, his Magic Necro hat here for, for all these Condis and what he's exactly planning to do with it. Also, since... Um, since uh, Shad is switched from Thief to to Spirit Ranger. How that will affect that game mm -hmm. as well. But we're gonna check the splits in here in two seconds to Hold see exactly where points. everyone see is there. going. Uh, we're from the side of Red. We're gonna see Helseth and Tage going towards the mid with a contingency of, of three people actually heading towards Quarry. It's really interesting. Misha is uh, is heading towards Quarry as well. Two two one from Blue. Helseth gonna go up towards Waterfall. Let's see what's going on up there. As um, he, this is a play that we I've actually seen so, him do a lot. Mm -hmm. So again, very split from these teams going into the opener here. Everybody, I think Red Team was overly, I would almost say, expectant of a crossplay from the blue team, and as such, Red they sent three to their home node. Um, and that that did that did put a little bit more pressure on the Tage there in the middle as blue team did the superior numbers, but now with everybody getting here, that is going to shift itself into a pretty normal team, but, but again, though, Posey is sort of out of the way here, and he is getting focused down by these Hambo Warriors, so we'll have to watch out for that if Misha gets onto him here in the next few seconds, too. That's right. He's about to go down. Uh, he has very, very low health, 1.3k now, and uh, he just popped that heal, so he's, he's going to be okay, but we do have the Spirit of Nation renewal around here to deal with Posey's death if that does happen. Uh, he is in plague form as well, so he'll be fine just for a little bit. Tage is on point in the mid, dealing with everyone who's actually on point in there, so that's uh, that's just going to be Shad for the most part now. And Aldemiri and Squares, they're really trying to... to they're split up right now. Squares is more so dealing with Helseth and Super on Waterfall, but Aldemiri is trying to deal with um, pretty much everyone over in between mid and quarry. And that's just sort of the play that he wants to run to just to really put a, a wrench in the gears of, of BOTF right now. And back over here at Waterfalls, uh, Super's actually been doing a pretty good job 2v1 against Milo and uh, Squares. He may actually take Squares down, we'll have to see though. He's at, he's trying to chase into the best of abilities, but again with the passive regen of uh, the passive regen of the Signet coming in. Let's Just see if he like actually that. gets a stomp off in 2v1, it looks like he does! Oh, uh, now he gets to go up against Milo and he, if he can do I, it, man. He actually um, is going to go back to mid. So, so, so what we saw happen there, again, do note, super nice job getting a 2v1 stomp off there. Um, but again, he had, did have to go off point to actually get that stomp, and as such, Milo got the free cap there. And him fighting versus a Bunker Guardian, he's probably never going to kill it unless he gets support, so it was just a better decision for him to come back here in the middle and help out there instead. Yep, check out, checking out Super some more. He's going up against, or trying to track down Misha right now. Misha's going to go ahead and drop in the mid here. and. Tage going in for the stomp. Squares coming in from the side here, along with Eldemir, he's just now getting around here. Let's check out what else is going on here. Let's go in with Hellset, see what sort of place he's trying to set up here as well. All of his utilities are pretty much on cooldown right now, so he needs to stay back and uh, just use his greatsword to uh, do the, the utmost here, staying away, healing up. But oh no, he runs right into Shad. Spirit Ranger going to go ahead and try and hit him down with that short bow. And he's going to drop right next to Tage, who's immediately going to rise him up, so he'll be just fine coming in back into this fight. Indeed he will again. Red team is prioritizing there on the res. You can see the second one of their teammates went down, they pulled out the knockbacks, got, his, got all the enemies away, and then two of them jumped on for the double res, got him right back up in all of about two seconds. So Red team again also really on top of those reses. Yep, Milo has dropped in the mid. He's in the down state. Tage is just going to go ahead and hit him upside the face with his mace action. Now here comes the stomp. Will go through. Yep, absolutely. Square's going to get stomped through as well. And uh, really dominant stuff coming out from BOTF. Now, they don't have any capture points, but uh, they've, they've been getting the kills one after another. 
And you can definitely see that right now by looking at the personal scores real quick. Red top score for red team, team Super with 45 point. points. Top score for blue team is Milo with Did only 10 points. That? So red team definitely red has... Team. And that's from Bunker Guardian. Board. Yeah. So and that's, that's just from Caps. So as we can see, red team has definitely been a much more... Or, yeah, much more dominant force so far up in this game. And Misha actually just portaled into his own death there. Yeah. Portaled through back over here to the quarry point, but unfortunately for, for him there, Can Scout was waiting and absolutely destroyed him with a few Connies. Now we do have Aldmeri Mary here, so we'll have to see Can Scout's gonna be trying to come in for the stomp. Will he get it? And again, yep. and just before another stomp. the res went off, was able to do so, but Squares has knocked Can Scout off point here. Tage rotating to quarry, realizing that he's needed here. Trying to get the, st the stomp will go through onto Can Scout, so he will get the favor returned right back at him. Posey, however, if we go over to Waterfall, doing a great job over here. Um, with Super able to take out Shad, they've secured Waterfall pretty much for their own favor. Uh, Tage is having a little, like, he's not really having a problem 1v2ing, but he might, if, as soon as these Hambo Warriors start, like, utilizing the fact that they can synchronize their stuns and the, 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 the just the knock on the knockback and everything on the hammer is gonna be super strong Red against Tage and Posey, once again to help, some kind is gonna get thrown down, but will it be effective against these Warriors, Blue? Uh, that's the question, again, because we have to keep in mind, I pointed this out before the game started, we have two of those Berserker stances that'll come into play here from the blue team, so don't know how well, but again, considering it is 3v2 now, more than likely they, should, they shouldn't they should have too much trouble getting them down eventually here, as as well, we do have a lot of burn ticks going on at the point now, and Albury looks like he's going to get melt here, 11 con, 11 bleed ticks, burn ticks, poison ticks, I think he had a confusion or two on him there too, so no yeah. issues with getting him out of the game there. Over on Waterfall, we will see that Shad has decided to take it, and uh, he will be unopposed there. Uh, the rest of blue team is actually running straight towards Quarry. They need. They decide they really want to play these these side points. We jump over to where Tage is. He's uh, taking out Misha as well, and now Milo is really pretty much the only one left trying to get to Squares. Squares will get stomped out. Milo's having a tough time here, and now Blue is going to be fresh off the respawn. They need to get somewhere here, and so we're going to see Super and Can Scout going in on Milo and Quarry along with Posey. But we will see Aldamiri and Misha off the respawn, probably going to mid to do some pressure there. And indeed, Milo hanging on tight with what little health he did have there. Unfortunately, again, in the 2v1, was the uh, BOTF did manage to eat through that and actually take Milo out. And allow Red Team to now recapture this point. And with that in mind, Almiri does no longer want to contest this. He just missed the contestion. And as such, he's going to be attempting to make his way back to the middle right now. And he'll be grouping up with Misha in just a second, too. That's right. Super and Posey. In addition to Tage, though, they see everything. Uh, and all of the blue forces trying to swarm in on mid here. Tage gets on point, and uh, they, they really want to see where the movement of blue is going right now. So every all of blue is sort of stationed right outside their base trying to figure out where they're going. They, now, they know that they need to defend, but they're also going to send Misha to go far, I think. And as well, Misha just tossed down a portal by blue team spawn, and you can see red team, or you can see the warriors getting on that now. Oh, but it's going to get sniped out by Lord Halsa now, so let's see. Where are they going to jump to? It looks like they're jumping over here to quarry now. Here they come. Damage is going to be thrown on uh, it looks like Posey over here Posey uh, it's taking it pretty well though so let's see though Cyrus as we go into this team fight how they actually handle this yeah man I'm watching Misha who you know fresh out that portal play still like trying to do stuff and uh, Squares is actually chasing down Posey right now who's really trying to just stay back throw something down some condies and play supportively but the rest of the team is is in effect here they're all they're all here except for Super who's decided to go on and deal with uh, Shad over on Waterfall um, they sort they sort of saw this coming. The fact that they, they, that they scouted the portal going down beforehand knows that they, they know that they have to defend at some point. That they're all going to be grouped up. So I'm watching Hellseth right now, and they're all pretty much outside of uh, Red Base. And I think that we're going to see, um, you know, everyone's up right now. The fights are pretty much go. It's extremely spread out here. We go if we go and look at Tage though. He's right in the thick of it. Um, he and Kanska are going to be dealing with the Warriors here. That's the, the main focus of this fight, in addition to Milo, who's going to be supporting his Warriors as well. Yep, and again at the moment here, most of the pressure does appear to be on Ken Scout. They're trying their best to focus him down, but Ken Scout as well doing it. Ooh, apologies. Ken Scout as well doing an excellent job of using his dodges appropriately to try and get out of that damage. He's tanking now. Uh, and basically with all the damage coming on him from four members too. But now as we're gonna see, he's getting CC chain, so with that Ken Scuttle more than likely should be going down for the next like ten to thirty seconds here. All the while the Super was one v one Shad and he has won. He's gonna cap out on Waterfall. So I mean they the loss of Quarry is immediately is really 
probably not as as big of a deal as it would have been Red had he not been able to get it off. Also helps with his one v oneing squares right now. He's got a portal on both like both <laughs> those portals in mid or Helsets. He's just juking him around he's, uh, now. He's, he's jukes playing the jukes now from Helseth. Yeah. And so the two cap continues. It's now four thirty seven, four thirty nine to one seventy three. It's, I would I would begin to call this now for VOTF. Yeah, it's definitely looking strong for VOTF, and obviously at this point it is going to take quite a lot from the blue team to come back. Yeah, it, more than just this quarry point, they yeah. would need. I mean, I, I would even say it's probably impossible. They they will need a three cap and a lord kill at this point, so it, it, it's it is fairly blue safe to call this in favor for VOTF. Point. Absolutely. So Misha's gonna go ahead and drop on quarry. You see, Hellseth has dropped in mid here, and we he is getting rezzed by a can scout right now. Uh, Milo getting feared into a corner right about there. Square's trying to deal and do some cleave damage here. And Milo coming in for the stomp because Kanska did not finish off that res right there. Tage, though, will get in mid, no problem. And uh, 200 points now for uh, for 55 HP Monks. Slowly closing the gap. Very slowly closing it. And indeed, blue team going to be applying pressure here in just a moment, more than likely, over here at the waterfall point. But for the time being, it's just Shad going up against Super, but here comes Squares as well. They're going to be trying to take down Super. Tage is following closely behind them. They're going to make sure that they get that bunker onto that point, make sure they hold onto it. And with them holding onto that point, they will have a pretty much guaranteed win, so long as they do keep that in their control. Absolutely. They're going to go ahead and put so much pressure on waterfall. I think, you know, they kind of need the side points if they want to mount that, that offensive. Um... But it's only like what sixteen points away now from yep. from the end here. Really Thirty just, seconds at this point. Like this one out. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's highly likely it will end it with kills though. Tage on waterfall point. When Tage is on that point, you're not. He's not gonna lose it. So no, nope. I, I would I would immediately call this now. Um, Spirit of Nature Renewal comes out, and it's just a matter of time out until GGs go out, and we will see VOTF moving forward. And yes, we will. So congrats again to VOTF for taking this game, overcoming 55 HP Monks now in a 2-0 victory. Current final score for this game is going to be 500 points for VOTF, 240 points for 55 HP Monks. Top score, super on the red team with 180 points. What a sick game. What a sick was, match. Super was, super was all over the place there. Really well played by him, too. Really, He was really... Yeah, go ahead. No, you finish point. Super, Super was definitely, again, was really all over the place there. Always on that home point, making sure he was one of those 1v1s. Had the 1v2 at one point. Obviously, again, did have to bail off of it because it was a bunker card. But yeah. in the team fight too, he was absolutely dominating. He was making the good calls, uh, able to be where he needed to be when he needs to be there. Um, mm -hmm. Especially with the waterfall 1v1 on Shad at the end of the game. That sort of was just like, it eliminated any chance of a comeback, basically. Like, there, there was the slightest fraction of it, um, out, like, possible for 55 HP monks to make happen, especially with their offensive on Quarry, but the fact that they didn't have that home base in Waterfall, the fact that they didn't have that, um, pretty much at all moving forward, it, it really just was like, okay, well, we just win the game now. So... It was Again. a good showing. It's yep. pretty, extremely good showing. Good showing as well from 55 HP Monks. Hopefully they will be returning next week in the ESL Weekly number 12. Absolutely. Of course, moving forward, I think, what's the next match? It's going to be War Bears versus... Uh, Let's see here. Take a look-see. Uh, I believe it's going to be Cheese Mode, yep. War Bears yeah. versus Cheese Mode is what it should be, assuming they didn't play that already. Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and jump into a quick commercial break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Guild Wars 2 action right after this. See you in a few, guys.